Hi readers, me here with a book review of The Women by Kristen Hanna. This was a long anticipated book and I read it a day or two after I got it because I had to finish up some other things. But <clears throat> let's start. Not long ago, I read a book review by uh, some reviewer about a book that I detested, literally. I hated it. Um, the reviewer also did not like the book, but he made the comment that he was hard to blow away, but easy to please. And that's how I feel about myself when it comes to reading. Um, a couple of books ago, I found myself afterward starting to pick apart plot book plot points of a book I really enjoyed, and I stopped myself. What I want to concentrate this year is how that book makes me feel in the moment. It's real e easy to armchair quarterback some something after you've read it, but how did it make you feel? The book I was criticizing was Mrs. Quinn's Rise to Fame. I think it's back up there, um, but I felt joy the whole time I was reading it, and I did not feel joy while I was reading The Women, but that's okay. You wasn't supposed to. Um, this book reminds me a lot of something that happened to me. Parts of this book do. Something that happened to me several years ago when I went to a, I think it was like a week-long course in Georgia with the Southern Foodways Association, and it was about how to collect and record oral histories. Um, socially, I am very shy around strangers. I'm not that way in work, but when it comes to people I don't know, I'm quiet and I observe. And um, Anywho, on the very last day, we had to do interviews with each other. We paired up into groups. I did my interview with the um, person who was, cho was chosen for me, and then she interviewed me. And then we played back the interviews to the whole group. And in mine, I don't remember all the things that she asked me, but I did remember at the end of the interview, I talked about why I wanted to be um, there in that course. And I said something like, what do you talk about when you don't talk about Afghanistan? And when they played that back in the room, that everybody teared up and that was not what I was going for. I was just being matter of fact. And I found something like that in the women. So this is about Finn. I'm sorry, not Finn. Finn's the brother. Frankie, who signs up to be a nurse in the Vietnam War because she wants to do something. She wants to be a hero like the men in her family. Anywho, her brother has also deployed with the Navy, but then he ends up not coming home. He died. <clears throat> so there's this part. She joined the army to find her brother and found herself instead. In war, she'd found out who she really was and who she wanted to be. And as tired as she was of all the death and destruction, she was also more than a little afraid to go home. What would life look like stateside? And I really could relate to that because it is different being around people who don't have the same experience as you because what do you talk about? When I came back I found myself like surprised and a little bit taken aback at the minor little things that people would get so upset over and I still I don't have that very much anymore in my current job but from time to time I see it and I'm like inconvenience, not a huge problem, tone down the drama. Anywho, um, another favor, favorite part of this book was this line, this place would forever hold a piece of her heart. Here, she had found her place in the world, and she was also afraid that home was no longer the place she wanted it to be. You know, the war really takes up a small portion of this book, maybe the first quarter, maybe a little bit more. The rest is after. And um, I don't know about this, but there's a thing that happens throughout the book where people deny that there were women in Vietnam. You know, I was not 
present as far as paying attention to the news back then because I was too young, so I don't know about that. I am going to kind of do some research on that, but again, I didn't want to take that away from my enjoyment of the book because I really enjoyed it. But the rest of the book is all about post-traumatic stress. They didn't call it that then, um, but as a nurse, Frankie had seen death, dismemberment, had to hold people's hands as they died, very stressful um, things. Things is not a good word for that. Anywho, very stressful. And she had to do that sometimes while being under mortar attack. So, you know, um, <clears throat> she struggles to try to get help, but she falls into alcohol and drugs. And at the very end, I think she finally hits rock bottom. Oh, and her parents are not pleased with her at all. She shamed the family by going to war because they were elites. Um, so this is all about Frankie's struggle to recover from the post-traumatic stress and it is really, really powerful. And some critics on Amazon and Goodreads have said, oh, there are some factual things that are not, there are some things in here that are not factual. Fair. There are also some critics who complain about the Vietnam portion being too gory. Not so fair. Anywho, um, overall, I really, really enjoyed this book, and it inspired me to buy American Daughter Gone to War on the Front Lines with an Army Nurse in Vietnam by Winnie Smith. And when I read this, my my fic my nonfiction reading is going slowly this year, but when I read this, maybe I'll be able to get some of the questions answered because I don't expect to find 100% facts and only facts in a fiction book. You gotta have something to bring it to life. Um, one part of this book that really pissed me off, and I totally can see it happening. Um, because if some asshole at my grandfather's viewing could be rude to me in uniform, then this, this. So she goes to the VA to try to see a doctor because she knows she really needs help. And she, um, the doctor agrees to see her even though there weren't women in Vietnam. And she says, she asked for help. Now, she said, I was in country for two years, and my boyfriend was supposed to come home in April, but he was KIA. So what came was a re regret to inform you telegram. And the way people treat us, we can't even say Vietnam. We went to serve our country, and now they call us baby killers. My dad can't look at me. At my job, I was fired for being too good, even though I might have saved a young man's life. And I, well, I can't seem to get a handle on my emotions since I got back. I'm always either banshee angry or bursting into tears. My dad is so ashamed, he said I went to Florence instead of Vietnam. She said it all in a rush and felt exhausted after. And this motherfucking doctor says, Are you menstruating right now? They wouldn't have said that to a man, not... They would have taken a man seriously. Anywho, now that I'm fired up... That's my kind of rambling review of the women. If you like, if you're a fan of Kristen Hanna, I think you'll like this. If you like books about women in war, I think you'll like this. Again, my goal this year is to, instead of picking things apart that I don't like, I'm going to respond to how the book makes me feel. And overall, um, I felt good when I was reading this book. Even parts that piss me off. I still really enjoyed this book. That's all for me. I'll see you next time. Happy reading!